legally purchased or not. May Wang was, for instance, a was a um, was a New Zealand citizen at the time, so it took some time to work their way through it. When they were confident of that, they took action. Question number seven, the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education. How many of the 36-person A ministerial inquiry actions she adopted, she has adopted, will apply to non-registered teachers working in partnership schools? The Honourable Heke Parata. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. 25 actions or more could apply depending on the final contract let. Importantly, every person in a partnership school will undergo extensive background and police checks. This includes all non-teaching and teaching, unregistered and registered employees. The Honourable Nanaia Mahuta. Supplementary. Given that teachers and charter schools may not have to be registered, how will any of the 11 actions relating to teacher registration in the Teachers' Council help prevent sex offenders being employed as teachers at the, charter schools? The Hon. Heke Parata. Mr Speaker, and that is why I said 25 or more of these actions will apply of the 36, depending on the final contract let, regardless, all employees, no matter what their status, will be subject to police vetting and extensive background checks. The Hon. Nanaya Mahuta. How will making information about teachers' name changes available to schools through the Teachers' Council register help prevent charter schools from hiring sex offenders, given that charter school teachers won't necessarily even have to be listed on the Teachers' Council register. The Hon. Heke Parata. Because we will specify in the contract when we are negotiating with partner schools how those um, checks and balances will be incorporated. The Hon. Nanaima Huda. Order, I want to hear the question. Hon. Nanaima Huda. Supplementary, is she aware that teachers are police vetted every three years when they have to re-register? And can she assure the House that non-registered teachers working in charter schools will also be police vetted every three years? The Honourable Heke Parata. Mr Speaker, indeed um, they are often vetted more often than three years and we will be expecting the same level of probity and protection and safeguarding of all students in all schools. The Honourable Nanaima Huta. Supplementary. If there is no difference whatsoever in the vetting and background checks for non-registered charter school teachers, why did officials warn the Minister last year that, quote, there is the challenge of ensuring that students are not put at risk by mentors who are not necessarily subject to professional licensing. End of quote. The Honourable Heke Parata. Mr Speaker, I think we need to distinguish between being unregistered and being unqualified um, and ensuring that all staff, because because at the minute registration requires a, a, a registered person to hold a teaching qualification. We are talking about a whole range of other qualifications and at the moment in fact there are a whole number of people who are in teaching um, positions, early childhood educators, volunteers, teachers under the limited authority to teach, tertiary educators, trade courses and staff at private training in establishments that are teaching but are not registered with the Teachers' Council. The point of order, Mr. Point of order, Honourable Nanaima I seek leave to table a document requested under the Official Information Act from the Ministry stating their concerns regarding uh, some of the risks uh, proposed with appointing non registered teachers. Leave us sort of table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Question number eight, Julianne Genta. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.